Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody, I just made part one, and there was a little bit of a problem with it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what the problem was. We're gonna, uh, we've already got a blend. I'm gonna blend it that path. So I'm gonna go new path and put it, put it here, and then blend along full path and rotate all object. And it's not really a problem, but the inner parts look like they're spaced out more. That's just the way the blend works. Now we could try it with more objects, but instead of doing that, let's try this. Now I made a copy and you should always make a copy of your item that you're playing with. And also this might be the problem with this blend is they're, um, they're blending and let's see if we can't fix that. Let's go to object, break blend apart and then ungroup. and then take away of the blend and try to re-blend these using link, take the link accelerator away. No, they're still, a, they're still, there's a way to do that, um, but I don't know. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and what I was planning on is we're gonna break this blend apart Well, then we're going to ungroup it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get and make a new blend using the smallest one and using a middle one and another middle one and the end one. Now I'm just going to delete these for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and we don't have to do this, but I hit B and put them on the same plane. But then I'm going to, so I've reduced this. I'm going to blend these two different ways, but I'm going to also change our path to, with the two point line, I'm gonna take the two point line right in there. Now I'm gonna select all this. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate and move it over. Then on one of them, I'm gonna take away the inside and the other one, I'm gonna take away the outside. So now we have two paths and we're gonna to try to double blend this and see if it works. Now, if I nudge this over, it fits back. So we're gonna take the small ones and we're gonna go and we're gonna blend. I think we need last, so I'm gonna go 32 times. Hit apply, blend along new path and hit, this is the small one. It looks like it's gonna be too many and then blend along full path and rotate all objects. Then really, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna take the two larger ones We'll go ahead and do 32 again. You could play around with that. Blend along new path. Blend along full path and rotate all objects. Now look what happens when we put them together. That is a lot better. Um, there's a double one like right here. And I think if we move it, it'll kind of move them all a little bit. So you just have to play around with that, the number, the number that you put in, um, you'd actually have to break all these things apart to move some that aren't touching. And it's a, yeah, that's way too many in here. And, um, but we could always do this, go up to object, break the eight objects apart and it's kind of hard sometimes to click on an item. Let's go to back that up and go to object and ungroup them and then take away. There we go. We just had too many blends. And it just depends on what you want it to look like. And then what is so neat about it, you could take away this line take away that line and then color them in with black and it'll look a lot different than you could make it whatever size you want. Now, that's quite a diff bit different than the clip art, but it is one way to do it to get these guys a little bit closer together. And I'm gonna try to keep playing around with this later today and see if there's not a better way even to do it still and cause you could, you know, you could tweak 
every one of these along that path at one point or another. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.